Hey guys, it's Simmer Kelly here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am bringing you guys something new to my channel once again. Yes, once again. Um, this is a <sighs> fixer upper. Yeah, I, I guess we're gonna call it fixer upper, or it might just go in along with uh, my playlist called renovating, renovating in the Sims 4 with Simmer Kelly. Um, you can go check that out. I will have that link down below. But, uh, yeah, this is, this house I had came across, um, I just looked up hashtag abandoned houses, um, on the gallery, and, like, I went through a whole lot of them and, like, favorited it, but I can't even speak, favorite, favorited it, favorited them, <laughs> that word is so hard to say, favorited them, um, like, and I just, Wanted to go by each one and just um, fix them up, basically. So all the ones that I had favorited, um, which is this one here by, well, it says by Katie Moo, but I, the original person is Micer, Micer twenty two oh nine. So we're gonna give you know props to this person here because this person I guess is the main builder of this. I don't know. Um, I really don't know what this person did because I didn't look on this person's um, account for the house. I just like saw the house and I was like, ooh, I want to do this. Um, it is also in Brittleton Bay, as you can see the background and everything. So I was like, ooh, yeah, I really wanted to build a house in Brittleton Bay anyways. So I said, well, why not? But yeah, and um, also we're missing a pack, uh, which is the cool kitchen stuff. But that's, that's no biggie. Um, let's just see what they used in it. Probably not nothing serious. Yeah, see, it's just those two things. It doesn't matter. It's not nothing serious. It's not going to be noticeable. But Okay, so let's just go ahead and read the description. So it says, Family home back from the 50s slash 60s, owned by the family Johnson. John. Johnins. Okay. As you can see, they don't have a lot of money, and their beloved house is falling apart. That's where you come in. Can you spruce their... Can you spruce their house up without spending too much? Fixer upper, fixer upper, trash, abandon, yeah, and repair. So it says the value of this house is eighty-six thousand dollars and three hundred eighty-five. I was about to say cents. What? Okay, eighty-six thousand three hundred eighty-five dollars. There we go. Fix it. Okay. So and it's also on three by twenty lot. So um, I mean I don't understand where they say that the family doesn't have much money. I don't know, like, where's the family? That's all I want to know. It's like, where's the family? I guess, I I don't know. Maybe they're just saying that a family found the house and they need it to be, uh, you know, like, renovated, but they don't have much extra cash. So, I don't know. I mean, we can still stay in this range here. Like, hopefully this house won't be no more than 100000 Um, It all depends because as you delete things that's in there, most likely you might not reuse them. So, you could save a lot of money by doing that. So, I don't know. We'll see the finished product of how much it's going to be later. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and get right on into it. Um, let me just go ahead and show you guys the house right now. Okay, so we come in here. We have some nasty spider cobwebs all in the corners. Ew, no one wants that. Um, ooh, very nice job done with the rug here in front of the door. It's like not perfectly made but it's kind of like like if someone was to move it or something and it was just like moved and you have to go back and fix it that's really a nice detail there um we have like kids shoes and um this little calendar sticker thing oh i like that ooh this very terrible 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 swatch of this um well it's not that terrible but right here in this in this, I guess, foyer, I should say, in this little tiny foyer, like this is ugly. That curtain is seriously ugly. But um, I don't, I don't really understand the curtain situation here. Maybe it's, maybe it's like one of those things where um, people put curtains over the arcways or something to kind of block out things. I don't really know, but yeah, whatever. I don't know what the concept was with that, but it's still really good. I'm not gonna, you know hate or whatever <laughs> but uh ooh, we have some scratches on the walls and i don't i guess this is like a bathroom thing i don't know why they put it in here but okay 
Oh, wait, what was behind that? Oh, it was a light. Wow, okay. <laughs> um, and then we have, like, a few plants. A little, um, coat hanger. And a door, well, two doors leading to wherever it is. Uh, let's go in here and look. So, this door right here is leading to, looks like, maybe a, a toddler's room. Because, you know, judging by the toddler bed, this is a toddler's room, I guess. But, ooh. Yeah, a lot of things probably happened in here. Um, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, they didn't have much style back then. <laughs> Not much style at all. Um, the walls are very dirty, very murky, and and I I like the fairy lights thing. It's pretty cute. Um, but just overall, I mean, it looks like the f the carpet got pulled up. Ooh, I really like that that texture that they gave the floor. Like they. Made it seem like the carpet got pulled up. Ooh, that's really nice. I like that. See, people people are so good at building. I'm just like, oh my god, why can I not build like this? But like, yeah. <laughs> so, um, let's go into the next room, because that room was like, yikes. Um, so we go into here, and it looks like, I don't know. Let me fix the camera. Jesus. Um, it looks like it's some kind of... The uh, master bedroom? I don't know. Uh, I don't understand why there's a sink in here. Kind of miss, you know, kind of questioning right there. It's very questioning. Why is there a sink? But I don't know. But there's like a nasty cobweb up under it, so, uh, yeah. Not want to touch that. Um, some scratches on the wall. Uh, some more cobwebs up there in the corner. Mitch match dressers. Hmm. Yeah, very, yeah, very, uh, unfashionable, un not fashionable, but very, un yeah, just, yeah, everything in here is, needs some help, <laughs> but that's why I'm here, so, yeah, um, let's go into here, which is this really terrible, ugly green bathroom that, like, this green swatch color on this wall looks like straight mold. Like, this bathroom looks like mold or something. I just don't know. Like, ew. Ugh. Ugh. Like, ugh. Like, you might get a disease from this bathroom. <laughs> like, if you use that toilet, I don't know. You might, ca you might catch, like, I don't know, like an H2O disease. I don't know. Like, what am I talking about? Uh, H2O disease? I, I don't know. Like, that's what I mean. Like, that's how serious it could be if you use that toilet. Like, that's how serious it could be. You could catch something crazy like you never heard before. <laughs> but yeah, um, we have a nasty cobweb again, uh, up over the shower, which is, ew, disgusting, um, yeah, this bathroom is really hopeless, uh, yeah, um, and so we have, like, this really, uh, horrible looking hallway, um, very closed in, um, this house is, has no open concept plan, um, which, sometimes I like that, but when things start to look a bit too small and crowded, then it's not all that good. Like you could easily open up this. Hold on, let me get my build tool out. Um, you could easily like open up this area, like this area. I'm trying to like show you guys. You can easily open up this area and make it like a foyer or something. Like just open it up. It's what it looks like. It needs it needs to be opened because it's so closed in, but. Back to the um to the tour. So let's look at what this is. So I don't know. This must be some kind of living room area or something. Uh, not really up to par. But it looks. I mean, this is a really detailed house. Like I am very impressed with this person's work. Like who who is this person? Miker. Like Miker, you did a really good job on this house. Like really good job. Ooh, look, it's like a little, it's like the, the, um, little bunnies thing, the little sticker thing you get, I think, with the parenthood. It's like sticking out from the, from the, um, curtains. Looks so cute. Nice and detailed. It's, this is just, oh my gosh, like, I just can't. Like, this looks too good. Like, if I was trying to build a fixer-upper house, I, I don't even think I would fix, like, I would do it this good. Like, this person used debug items. Like, I never use debug items, so... It wouldn't be as good as this. <laughs> but uh, I have made a fixer upper house before. So it is on my channel. You can go check that out. I will link that down too. But we're getting off topic here. So let's get back. Um, 
So we have like a little TV here and like the little dresser. This is very 1950s style. This looks, yeah. Yeah, they really did a good job on fitting it in the, the, um, 50s. 50s or the 60s, I don't know, both, basically. <laughs> um, here we go with some mismatch chairs. Really good. Um, very tacky, very, very tacky. Like, they're using two different wallpapers. Ew. Um, very murky. Um, really ugly pictures. <laughs> um, we have like a, you know, like the toddler, toddler high chair. Yeah, high chair. We have some hearts on the walls. Ooh, ooh, I'm getting off the camera. We have some hearts on the walls. Maybe, maybe have been some lovers here. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. But, um, let's just move on to the kitchen. So this is the kitchen and, ooh, yeah. This kitchen has been through something. Yeah, this kitchen has been through a whole lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is very... <laughs> Whoa, I, I don't even know, like, any words to describe this house. It's just, overall, like, the house itself is just very cruddy, trashy, disgusting. And, I mean, you could expect that from a house that's been left, like over a hundred years yeah probably a hundred years let me see because no probably like six what am I talking about it said 1950 so probably like let me see 60 70 years I'm pulling out my calculator right now I'm <laughs> I'm serious about this hold on let me see so we have 2018 let's do 2018 minus 1950 okay so 68 years Okay, I was way ahead of myself right there. So, 68 years, like, yeah, this house has been left for 68 years, I'm assuming. So, it's, whoa, excuse my phone ringing, I'm sorry. But this house has been left for, like, over 60 years. So, what not to expect from, you know, something that's very trashy and murky and just, ew. But, um, let's go outside and see what's going on here. Jesus Christ, what is happening? Um, this looks... Yeah, this looks questionable. Hmm. Ew. Ugh. Okay, so, yeah, we're gonna have to fix this up. I'm, I'm assuming that this is like a pool here. Yeah, very ew. Hmm. Moss is growing all in it. Yeah, that needs some help. This really ugly tree that has, like, no kind of... Nothing like ugh. okay. Um, moving on. Okay, so we're back. Um, so with this house, it took me only an hour and fifty minutes to do. I mean, which kind of felt like eternity anyway. But it only took me an hour and fifty minutes. So <laughs> we went, we got through it. But I mean, it in the end, it was a really good, perfect house. I thought I did a really good job. Um, I mean, I really drastically changed the house, like. Usually when you do uh, renovations, you don't drastically change the house. You would just, like, keep the house structure, but just, like, change the inside. But with this house, um, I didn't too much like how the structure was too much. So I was just, like, adding on to it until I, like, liked the outcome of what I was doing, like, what I was adding on. And then I would just go from there, and then I just, like, redid the floor plan and just made everything look more better than it was um, but I tried to only use well I didn't try but I did I only used uh, just two packs well really one pack and then the base game so I only used cats and dogs cats and dogs pack and then I used the base game for one because I don't know I wanted to do like a base game build uh, for today but I mean obviously you can't because I mean the house the house is in um, cats and dogs, so you have to have the cats and dogs pack to put this house in the in that Brittleton, uh, Brittleton Bay. So I was like, well, maybe we should just do cats and dogs and base game together into this house. So it's only so it's only like a one pack house. So if you guys have cats and dogs, great. If you don't, still great I mean you can just like switch up a few things I think I only place really like major things like bedroom like 
like bathroom uh well not really anything in the bathroom is like cats and dogs it's only like in the bedrooms and living room it's only like a few things that you could change i mean i think it would like generate i think it would generate um whatever it whatever the game thinks is similar to it i think it'll just like replace it with whatever it thinks is similar and just pretty much like fix it so no worries but uh yeah so this voiceover <laughs> once again like nothing's new uh it's 19 minutes long well 19 minutes and 51 seconds long so i kind of don't plan on staying that long because i have a hard time knowing what to say and usually you know like when you talk as of for me i talk kind of fast um <laughs> which is kind of a bad thing because whenever I talk fast, I always run out of things to say, and then sometimes I have to catch up with what I said, and then that'll leave in like pauses. I'm like, um, yeah, um, okay, so we were talking about this, um, yeah, usually I just do that, like if I'm talking too fast, I'm trying to catch up with myself, but that's just a natural thing. I just talk fast in real life, period, but I'm not really a talker in real life. Well, I'm a talker, like, if I, if I know you that well, and maybe we just, like, click, or, you know, we just are friends or something, then, yeah, you, you'd probably say, oh, yeah, she's a talker, she will talk your head off, yeah, but if we're just, like, some stranger or something, or if I'm just getting to know you, I'm not gonna really, like, talk to you, like, you're gonna think that I'm very quiet and to myself, but that's only because I just, I don't know, like, I don't talk to people who I don't really know like that, so, but yeah, but my, my mom, on the other hand, like, I will talk her head off, like, any day, <laughs> like, any day, I think that's, like, the only person that I would talk their head off, I think her, and maybe my brother, I mean, I don't talk to him as much, I mean, I do, but, like, not as much, not as much as I do to her, but, yeah, we're getting off topic here, but, Maybe because, I mean, there's nothing else to talk about. I can't even see the build itself. Like, if I can see the build as it's going, like, the video as I'm doing this voiceover, then it would be great. But with this um, video editor video editor that I'm using, um, too bad we can't. So, <laughs> too bad we can't uh, look at the video as we're recording. But I can with this video editor, but I just have to, like, buy the uh the pro version of it but i'm like uh no i don't want to buy the pro version because i want to save my money up for like a different video editor so and which is not this one so yeah but uh let me see i don't know i'm just i have nothing else to talk about i don't even know where we're at we're five minutes five minutes and like 13 seconds in i don't even know where we're at right now i'm about to like play this game on my phone it's called throwdown um basically it like has all the adult swim not all the adult swims but it has family guy uh bob's burgers um what's the other guy uh american dad um it has another one in there let me see I can't think of them. I can't like think of them all, <laughs> but I know it has them all in there. Oh, it, oh, um, Jesus! I just thought of the name, and now I just forgot it. I'm trying to think of it. Futurama. That wasn't the name I was trying to think of. I just saw it, it has Futurama, and um, King of the Hill. Yes, King of the Hill. That is the name. That's what I was thinking of. So it has Boss Burgers, King of the Hill, Futurama, um. Um, American Dad and Family Guy, so has all those, and it's a pretty fun game. I mean, it's more of like a card game, but I mean, like you can do different things with the cards. Like I don't know, it's kind of it's like a time-consuming thing. Not a time-consuming thing. No, it's not time-consuming. It's more of like a just in the moment gameplay, I guess. Whatever. I don't know, but it's kind of good. So. Yeah, I might have the volume a bit too up. Uh, let me turn it down some. But yeah. How many minutes are we in? Six minutes? I mean, can I put some music in the background? I kind of feel like I need to. <laughs> because one, like, I don't want to stay on the mic. 
Plus, it's getting a little late. Not like late, but like it's getting a little late for time for me to be like 19 minutes on the mic. Because I have to like go and get my brother from the bus stop. Like in a f probably like in the next 40 minutes. Maybe 30 minutes. So like in the next 30, 40 minutes. So um, not really trying to be on here for 19 minutes. But uh, I guess we'll stay for extra two. Uh, well, what can I, well, what can I talk about on the build? Um, let me see. I didn't really have a hard time doing the four plan. I mean, the four plan was very easy to just map out because I just basically, like I said, I just edited, I just like added on, um, like extra space onto the house, and basically I just started to just like just fix the walls, like just basically. I don't know how to explain it. I can't see it, so I don't know how to explain it. But I am going to do like a build tutorial. I don't know when. Maybe, maybe on Christmas or oops, messed up my mic. Maybe on Christmas or maybe before Christmas. I don't know. Somewhere around there. But I plan on doing a build tutorial just for the simple fact is because um, I feel like I can build and I feel like I can teach other people how to build. So, uh, because I have been there once before, um, not knowing how to build. I mean, I, I built in The Sims 3, which I built really good in The Sims 3. Like, I knew how to furnish. I used the, the, uh, the creative style very well. And, you know, it was just very easy for The Sims 3. But after I stopped playing The Sims 3 for a while, and, you know, like when The Sims 4 came out, I started playing that a lot. Um, and then going back to Sims 3 was like, a no <laughs> was like no because going back to Sims 3 I was like okay I missed the um create a style color wheel but in the Sims 4 for some reason it just like messes like it's not the same kind of build style like it's just not like even if they were to put a create a style uh color wheel in it it just went it's still it's just still not the same it's much easier to build in the Sims 4 than it is the Sims 3 so maybe that's why it kind of like messed like messed me up on how to build in The Sims 3. I mean, I still know how to build in The Sims 3, but since I haven't been using Creative Style Color Wheel in a while, um, it's kind of hard for me to come up with certain styles and colors on the Color Wheel. Like it just takes it just takes much longer to build on The Sims 3 than it does for me on The Sims 4. So, like a mansion in The Sims 4 would take me. Probably three hours tops, maybe even two, uh, if it's, you know, if it seems, e if it's like easy or something, maybe even two. But on The Sims 3, if I was to even try to build a mansion, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even continue with it. Like after the hour passes on, I wouldn't even continue doing it because I would have given up. <laughs> Just for the simple fact is because one, Sims 3 graphics, after you get to know Sims 4, um, the Sims 3 graphics is not all that good. So, I mean, it gets very boring to me when I'm playing in the Sims 3. Uh, so, I don't really do too much like staying in that game. But, yeah, so I just would have, like, been had given up. Just for the simple fact is because I'm not really, I, I'm not used to it. Like, I've been off of it so long, I don't know how to use it no more, so. Really, if I go back to Sims 3, I just usually just play the game. Just play the game itself. But I don't play too long, just like I said, because it's not as good as The Sims 4. I mean, some people may think, like, okay, maybe The Sims 3 is better than The Sims 4. But that's not in my opinion. My opinion is The Sims 4 is better than Sims 3. That's just all I have to say. Maybe for the building aspect. But, I mean, creative style. I mean, since we've been without creative style for, like, ever since 2014, since The Sims 4 had came out. Like, I don't really care about it anymore. Like, I, I truly don't care about it. Like, if they add it in there, I probably still won't use it. Like, I may use it, may, but, like, I probably still won't use it just for the simple fact is because we haven't had it for so long. So, I mean, yeah, but I was about to say. But I think my favorite Sims game of all would probably be Sims 2. I think Sims 2 is always going to be there, right there in my heart. <laughs> the best game. Well, yeah, the best game. Because I liked it, the Sims stories, like Sim, 
was it a cover sim stories or was it sims sims life stories yes i love that one you know like the one with the riley harlow and um what's the other guy it's riley harlow and some other guy i forgot what his name is but those are those two stories Ooh, i loved playing that game maybe because it was because of the storyline thing but I loved playing that game. That was actually the first game that I had came in contact with when I first knew about The Sims. Um, so, you know, that's probably why that's like my favorite one. But, yeah. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and just put some music in. I mean, we're 12 minutes into it. Uh, I, like I said, it's 19 minutes long. Uh, so, we have like seven minutes yeah like seven minutes so i think music would i think music is gonna do us some good for now so i can get off this mic because i feel like i'm dreading myself to like dread out the time like of speaking like i'm just talking about nothing like you probably like you guys probably don't even care what i'm talking about right now you're just like watching the build but whatever i'm just gonna go on ahead and leave so but uh uh i will be posting tomorrow again i don't know when this video is going to go up it's probably going to go up tomorrow which is tuesday uh today is monday currently while i'm trying to edit this um so it may get posted on tuesday probably so because it's already 3 52 p.m where i live at so i mean yeah it, it's gonna yeah it's gonna get posted then so uh i guess you'll see another video on wednesday this video is going to go up on tuesday so you're going to see another video on wednesday Thursday and Friday. Oh, guys. Okay, so you may be wondering how did how did she even post a video on Saturday and Sunday? Well, I'll tell you guys. I probably already explained it in the video, anyways. But I'm gonna explain it again before I leave. So, um, the way how I got my videos to post on Saturday and Sunday because I usually don't post on those days, um, is only because I had those files, I had those uh video files in my file folder. And on Friday, I just decided to, like, go ahead and export them to YouTube. And I was like, well, these two videos can be my Saturday and Sunday videos. You know, just to, just to surprise people, I guess. Whatever. But, yeah, so that's how I posted them. And they didn't really get that many views. But, hey, I don't really have that many subscribers anyway. I mean, I have 50 subscribers. Thank God. Thank you for them. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, I, I'm just going to go ahead and leave because I don't know what else to talk about. I'm just talking about nothing, but I will see you guys in the next video, which is on Wednesday. So wherever you are, um, I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will see you guys next